The whole house smelled like cinnamon, melted butter, brown sugar. Grandma said the trick is to let the dough sit for an hour. Oh, hi. I was just telling Dana how to make perfect cinnamon rolls. You can almost taste them, right? Or maybe you have images of your own grandma's cooking. But this isn't a cooking show. This is a better learning show. And here's a technique to help you become a better learner. Become a good story listener. If you can understand why an instructor chose a certain story, it can make learning more durable. Stories can make complex concepts more interesting, approachable, and memorable. An entertaining story can activate parts of the brain that might otherwise not be engaged. Take my cinnamon roll story, for example. I told you this story to get your interest, activate your taste buds, and evoke images of grandma, all so you would consider what it means to be a good story listener. Being a good story listener means being an intentional listener. Here are three hacks to help. First, find the why. Why is the instructor telling you this particular story? What problem or concept does this story lay out? Are the characters important to the story? Does the setting or context of the story teach anything? Second, personalize the story. Have you had a similar experience to the story being told? Can you relate to the imagery, sounds, or emotion of the story? How can the lessons of the story help you solve one of your own challenges? And third, retell the story. By putting a story in our own words, we strengthen neural connections and more deeply process the information. Why does being a good story listener make you a better learner? Let's ask our expert. Story listening can help us be better learners because it puts our whole brain to work. Did you know that a well-told story can activate seven different parts of your brain, including the motor cortex, the sensory cortex, and even the olfactory cortex? Mmm, cinnamon. It helps us digest complex concepts and remember them better. Stories also help us integrate someone else's experience into our own. As our brain searches for similar personal experiences and then finds them, it triggers the insula, which is the part of the brain that helps us connect to stories. As we emotionally connect to stories, then it triggers dopamine, which is the hormone responsible for information processing and memory. So the bottom line is, the more intentional story listener you are, the more you'll be able to understand those complex abstract ideas and embed them into your memory. Remember, to become a better learner, become a better story listener. Find the why, personalize, retell the story. And that's the whole story. Oh, what do you know? It's grandma. I'm gonna ask for her chocolate chip cookie recipe. I remember this one time I pulled them out of the oven and the chocolate oozed onto my fingers and onto my chin. Hi, Grandma.